Yeah, now mm, we'll start with Niharika. Niharika, you start. Balance sheet. Yes, sir. Balance sheets can help you see a big picture. The net worth of your small business, how much money you have and where it is kept. They are also essential for getting investors, securing a loan or selling your business. So you definitely need to know your way around one. That's what this guide comes in. We'll walk you through the balance sheets. What is a balance sheet? The balance sheet is one of the three main financial statements along with the income statement and cash flow statement. While income statements and cash flow statements show your business's activity over a period of time, a balance sheet gives a snapshot of your financials at a particular moment. It incorporates every journal entry since your company launched your balance sheet shows what your business own, owns, what it owes, and what money is left over from, from the owners, for the owners. Mm. Because it summarizes a fin business's finances, the balance sheet is also sometimes called the statement of financial position. Companies usually prepare one at, at the end of a reporting period, such as a month, quarter, or year. Yeah. One minute, just a minute. Because one candidate joined today, uh, mm -hmm. Has he come here? 86983. Have you come, please? I'm calling. Hello, can you come to Zoom now? We are in the class now. You are in the lecture only. What is your name? 1 plus 9 or T? Ankur, to mera lecture mein nahi hai. Acha, acha, uh, acha, you are there. Oh, one plus. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm, now, I, I was asking our Niharika to read. Niharika, please continue. Because the balance oh. sheet... Because the balance sheet reflects... Every transaction since your company started, it reveals your business's overall financial health. Investors, business owners, and accountants can use this information to give you a book value to the business, but it can be used for so much more. At a glance, you will know exactly what, how much money you have put in or how much debt you have accumulated, or you might compare current assets to current liabilities to make sure you are able to meet upcoming payments. Mm. The information in your company's balance sheet can help you calculate key financial ratios such as the debt to equity ratio, a metric which shows the ability of a business to pay for its debts with equity. Even more immediately applicable to is the current ratio that is current assets upon current liabilities. This will tell you whether you have the ability to pay all your debts in the next 12 months. You can also compare your latest balance sheet to previous ones if to examine how your finances have changed over time you will be able to see how far just how far you have come since day one a hmm. simple balance sheet template so this is the template achha, achha. this is the template download karna. Hmm. get started let us take up achha, achha. Ye sab mang rahe hai. Ye paisa mangega. Baat mein deka jayega. What goes on balance sheet? What goes on a balance sheet at a high level? A balance sheet works the same way across all business types. They are organized into three categories: assets, liabilities, and owners' equity. Assets uh, list your assets in order of liquidity or how easily they can be turned into cash, sold, or consumed. Bank accounts and other and other cash accounts should come first, followed by fixed assets or tangible assets like building or equipment with a useful life longer than a year. Even intangible assets like intellectual properties, trademarks and copyrights should be included. Anything you expect to convert into cash within a year are called current assets. Current assets include money in a checking account, money in transit, that is money being transferred from another account. Accounts receivable, money owed to you by customers. Short-term investments, inventory, prepaid expenses, cash equivalents, Cash equivalents are currency, stocks, and bonds. Long-term assets or non-current assets, on the other hand, are things you don't 
plan to convert to cash within a year. Long term assets include buildings and land, machinery and equipment, less accumulated depreciation, intangible assets like patents, trademarks, copyrights, and goodwill. You would list the market value, what fair price a buyer might purchase these for. Long term investments. Yeah. Now we will go to the next candidate, uh, Ankush Taneja. Ankush Taneja. Yes, sir. Please read. Let us say. Let us say you own a vegan catering business called Where's the Beef. As of December 31, your company assets are money in checking accounts and unpaid invoice for a wedding you just catered and cookware, well. dishes and utensils worth a bit dollar nine hundred. Here's how you would list your assets on your balance sheet. Bank account dollar two thousand fifty. Accounts refusable dollar sixty one hundred. Equipment dollar nine hundred. Total asset dollar nine hundred and fifty. Nine thousand fifty. Nine thousand. Continue liabilities. Next from your liabilities, your businesses, financial obligations and debt. List your liabilities by their due date. Just like assets, you will classify them as current liabilities due within a year and non-current liabilities. The due date is more than a year away. These are also known as short-term liabilities and long-term liabilities. Your current, li current liabilities might include accounts payable, what you owe suppliers for items you bought on credit, wages you owe to employees for hours they have already worked, loans that you have to pay back within a year, taxes owed, credit card debt, and here's our non-current liability. Loans that you don't have to pay back within a year, bonds your company had issued. Returning to our catering, example, let us say you have not yet paid the latest invoice from your tofu supplier. You also have a business loan which is not due to for another 18 years. Here's our where's the beef liability. Accounts payable dollar one fifty. Long term debt dollar two thousand. Total liabilities dollar two one five zero. Equity continue. Equity is money currently held by your company. This category is usually called owners equity or sole proprietorship and stockholders equity or shareholders equity for corporation. It shows what belongs to the business owners and the book value of their investment like common stock, preferred stock, or bonds. Owners' equity include capital, the amount of money investment into the business by the owners, private or public stock, retained earnings, all your revenues minus all your expenses and distributions since long. Mm. Equity, equity can also drop when an owner draws money out of the company to pay themselves or when a corporation issues dividend to shareholders. For where's the beef? Let's say you invested dollar twenty five hundred to launch the business last year, and another dollar twenty five hundred this year. You have also taken dollar nine thousand out of the business to pay yourself, and you have left some profit in the bank. Here, summary of where's the beef equity: capital dollar five thousand, return earning dollar ten thousand nine hundred, drawing minus dollar nine thousand, total equity dollar six six thousand nine hundred. The balance sheet equation. This accounting equation is the key to the balance sheet. Assets equal to liabilities plus owner's equity. Assets go on one side, liabilities plus equity go on the other. The two sides must balance, hence the name balance sheet. It makes sense you pay for companies' assets by either borrowing money, that is increasing your liabilities, or getting money from the owner's equity. Very good. Next is our, this boy, what is his name? Ankur, Ankur, please read 1 plus 9 RT. Yeah. A, yes, sample, bal a sample balance sheet. Yeah. A, a sample balance sheet. Uh, we are ready to put everything into a standard templates. Here, what's a sample balance sheet looks like in a proper balance sheet format. So, do I need to read the balance sheet? Yeah, yeah. Then only we can follow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, first is assets. Uh, bank account is uh, two thousand fifty dollar. Accounts receivable six hundred six thousand sixty one hundred dollar. Equipment is nine hundred dollar. 
total assets is $9,050. Then liabilities, accounts receivable $150. No, uh, uh, no, no. Liabilities, what? Accounts payable $150. Mm. Long term debt $2,000. Total mm. liabilities $2,150. Then mm. equity, capital is $5,000. Retain earning is $10,900. Uh, drawing is $9,000. Total equity is $6,900. Abhi, e do no tally hota hai? Correct. $6,900 plus $2,150 comes to $9,050. $9, Correct. Now, great. Now, what do, what do I do with it? Please read because... Uh, because the balance sheet reflects every transaction since your company started, it reveals your business's overall financial health at a glance. You will know exactly how much money you have put in or how much debt you have accumulated or you might compare current assets to current liabilities to make sure you are able to meet upcoming payments. You can also compare your latest balance sheet to previous ones to examine how your finance have changed over time. You will be able to see just how far you have come since day one. If you need help understanding your balance sheet or need help putting together a balance sheet, consider hiring a bookkeeper. Here some metrics you can calculate using your balance sheet. Debt to equity ratio. Uh, investors and shareholders are interested in D ratio of a company to understand whether they raise money through investment or debt. A high D ratio shows a business uh, relies on relies heavily on loans and financing to raise money, working capital. This metric shows how much cash you would hold if you paid all of all your debts. It signals to investors and lenders how capable you are to pay down your current liabilities. Then return on asset. A formula for calculating how much net income is being earned relative to its asset own the more income earn relatives to the uh, amount of assets the higher performing a business is considered to be next we'll cover the three most important ratios that you can calculate using your balance sheet the current ratio the debt equity ratio and the quick ratio yeah next first praful 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 you are going for which interview you are going for scale 2 na uh, yes, sir. Bank of Maharashtra scale to credit officer. Very good. This must be very easy for you, but still you read. The current ratio. Yes, sir. The current ratio. Can your company pay its debt? The current ratio measures the liquidity of your company. How much of it can be converted to cash and used to pay down liabilities? The higher the ratio, the better your financial health in terms of liquidity. The ratio for finding your current ratio looks like this. Current ratio equal to current asset divided by current liabilities. You should aim to maintain current ratio of 2 raised to 1 or higher, meaning your company holds twice as much value in assets as it does in liabilities. If you had to, you, uh, you could pay off all money you owe two times over. Once you drop below a current ratio, of 2 raised to 1, your liquidity isn't looking so good. And if you dip below 1 raised to 1, you are entering hot water. That means you don't have enough liquidity to pay off your debts. You can improve your current ratio by either increasing your assets or decreasing your liabilities. The quick ratio. Also, uh, the quick ratio, also called the acid taste ratio. The quick ratio describes how capable your business is of paying, paying off all its short term liabilities with cash and near cash assets. In this case, you don't include assets like real estate or other long term investments. You also don't include current assets that are harder to liquidate, like inventory. The focus is on assets you can easily liquidate. How's, here's how you can get the quick ratio. Quick ratio is equal to 
कैश एंड कैश इक्विपमेंट प्लस मार्केटेबल सिक्योरिटीज प्लस अकाउंट रिसीवेबल्स डिवाइडेड बाय करंट लायबिलिटीज इफ योर रेशो इज वन रेस टू वन और बेटर इफ यू आर सिटिंग प्रीटी दैट मींस यू यू हैव गॉट इनफ क्विक टू लिक्विडेट एसेट टू कवर ऑल योर शॉर्ट टर्म लायबिलिटीज इन पिंच द डेप्ट टू इक्विटी रेशो सिमिलर टू द करंट रेशो the quick ratio is debt to equity ratio measures your company's relationship to debt only in this case the key value is your total equity the ratio tells you how much your company depends upon equity to keep running versus how much it depends on outside lenders it calculate like this debt to equity ratio is equal to total outside liabilities divided by owner or stakeholders equity sorry shareholders equity generally speaking a uh, 2 raised to 1 ratio is considered acceptable if the ratio gets bigger you are start running into trouble it means your business relies heavily on debt to keep running which turns off investors the higher the ratio the higher the chances that in in the in the event you need to pay off your debt you will use up all your earning and cash flows and investor investors will end up empty handed very good one minute yes. next next example uh, of balance sheet analysis yeah one one minute you are, you are come in two names prafull torot prafull torot there are two names here for you uh, yeah, yes yes okay. i am logging in two two instruments <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah. Doesn't mobile and laptop. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Now we, we thank you. Thanks for that. Now, do you have any specific doubt in your mind? Um, I I think I have to give you one Bank of Maharashtra uh, questions asked. One minute. Here, you know, one minute. You might have seen those questions also. Have you at any time studied in knowledgeist? No. Hello, Prafull Tharoor. Ah uh, yes, sir. Have you at any time studied in by uh, Knowledgeist that company? Ah, uh, Knowledgeist is a class. Yeah, you are you have attended them. Ah uh, yes, yes, I have attended the Pravanjans yeah. Pravanjans yeah, yeah. party. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Then in which case you must be having lot of uh, questions. Yes, yes. Bank here. I am having a small set of questions. Bank of Maharashtra, Bank of Maharashtra financial Maharashtra questions interview. expected. Bank of Maharashtra interview questions. I think you must be having this with you. Uh, this is. I think this is what is given by knowledgeist. So, ah, uh, ye, apka pas hai na? Ah, uh, yes. In the application, they have. They the. Uh, they not send the uh, directly to the. Candidate in the app they have logged in and you can read the contents only. ये सब मिलेगा ना आपको? Ah uh, yes yes, but in app we you can just read. Oh, and uh, you cannot uh, get a PDF or any such. अच्छा kind of okay if you want I will share them to you afterwards. Okay you message me. Ah uh, yes sir. Okay now we will go to Anuradha Gupta. Anuradha Gupta, are you there? Anuradha Gupta yes, from Anuradha Gupta is from which place? Gorakhpur, Uttar Pradesh. Ah, correct, correct. Yesterday also I asked. Today also I am asking. Gorakhpur. Yeah, please read this examples of balance sheet analysis. We, we will, will do, do a, a quick. Hmm. We will do a quick simple analysis. Yeah, sir, yeah. Hmm. Simple analysis of two balance sheets, so you can get a good idea of how Now, to put a financial one, ratio. One minute, one minute. It, I think what this video becomes very lengthy. Uh, 